Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to Tuesday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today we are getting fancy in here with Yaya's and Cameron. Welcome, Cameron. Thank you. So um, most people are familiar with Yaya's, but for those who aren't, give them a little history of Yaya's. Uh, so we've been around for about 25 years now. And where are you located? Uh, we, we are located in DTC, right off DTC Boulevard in Bellevue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, was that the original Yaya's? Uh, I honestly, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that. I think they, Kansas City would be first. So the, they, they are based out of Kansas City, but I know, I'm almost positive this is one of the longest, uh, or one of the oldest yaya. So maybe the first one is gone, maybe? Uh, it could be. be, yeah, it definitely okay. could be. How many yayas do you think there are now? Uh, so there are a total of five. Uh, so Little Rock, uh, Kansas City, Wichita, uh, Denver, and I'm missing one more, St. Louis. It doesn't feel at all like a chain. Nobody would ever believe that they were in other cities. No, no, and, and we try to, you know, uh, cater to our demographics. So while we have some of the same, uh, same menu items, we also try to put things locally on our menu. Yeah, it's not the same menu in every place. No, I don't no, think. no. How would you describe the food? Yeah, yes. Um, it's it's a, a European forward uh, menu, uh, but I, we it's, we have a wide ver variety of, of items to yeah. choose from. Yeah, and and you do. All three meals, I think, lunch, brunch, and dinner. We do, yeah. And Sunday brunch is definitely a big deal big for us. Big deal, yeah. yeah. Still during pandemic? Uh, honestly, uh, some of our regulars say they like it more now than ever. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've switched from a buffet brunch. We're actually doing a seven-course plated brunch. Come on. Yeah, and it's different every uh, every week. We try to do different themes, uh, different countries, you know, regions. Uh, it's fun. All right, give me an example of some dishes people could find at brunch. Uh, so this last week we did last call for summer. Uh, we're moving into fall, so we did like a summer breeze shot. We did, uh, you know, kind of a street taco. Uh, the the surf and turf course uh, came with a chimichurri and a succotash. So it's it's always it's what would, always changing. What would seven courses cost? Uh, it's actually thirty two ninety nine. So very. <laughs> Is Very, that cheaper than the buffet was? Uh, no, it's the exact same okay. price, which is why our, our guests love it so much more. Yeah, I yeah. would like that much more. Yeah. I'm not a buffet guy. Yeah, and then it comes to you. You don't have to go through yeah, the buffet. Yes, and then with buffets, I always overeat because I feel like yeah. i got to try everything, get yeah. my money's worth. Definitely. Of course, seven courses, I'd still be overeating. I you think. do, and we also send you with a take-home dessert, so technically eight courses. Okay, and uh, are you doing happy hour anymore? We are not currently doing yeah. happy hour we used right to now. Do one, yeah, right? we we did. And um, and you have a fantastic patio there. We do, we do, we, and we're actually we're installing infrared heaters to kind of prolong our, uh, you know, patio. During and the, and do you think that'll pandemic. that'll get you through the fall? But so I'm guessing like days that are like 40, 50. Right. Yeah. When it gets below be thirty, see, but yeah, it yeah, won't work. Yeah. Yeah, and um, let's talk about what you brought me for lunch because sure, we got yeah. a lot of food yeah, to talk we about. We do. Here. We do. Let's start wherever you want. Okay, uh, this is my favorite. Um, this is on the lunch menu? No. Uh, it is on our lunch and dinner really? menu. Uh, so this is a 14 ounce prime New York steak. Uh, this is gonna come with an Oscar mac and cheese. So we did a Bernays reduction. Uh, it's gonna be tossed with a little bit of snow crab, asparagus, and then topped with breadcrumbs. Uh, and then the butter you see there on the steak itself is a bone marrow butter. Wow, you guys it's delicious. Are fancy. And a little broccolini mm -hmm. underneath. Yep, yep. Which is my favorite vegetable. Yeah, definitely. And the same cut, lunch and dinner, same? It is the same, yeah, 14 ounce cut. Wow. You know what you didn't bring today? No, not to point out what you didn't bring. Right. But, but you guys make pizzas too, don't you? We do, we do. We have a wood fire burning oven. Yeah. Um, it's it's best best yeah. pizzas I've had here in Denver, honestly. Yeah, I've, I've loved your pizzas. <laughs> let's, let's talk about some appetizers. Uh, yeah, this is definitely one of our big sellers. Uh, hummus and pita, straightforward. Uh, we do make this in-house. It's topped with feta cheese, caramel olives, and a little bit of parsley. It's got uh, a little more orange color than a normal. It orange. does. So it's going to have a little bit of uh, paprika, uh, cayenne, and then cumin, which okay. will, yeah, but it's delicious. Uh, looks good. I can't wait to try that. This looks like some kind of a dip over here. Yeah, another one of the house favorites. Uh, so this is the Yaya's bruschetta. Uh, so that'll come with a goat cheese fondue, oh, yeah. uh, crostinis, and then tomatoes that are tossed in a balsamic uh, vinaigrette. And that'll be topped with pesto and microgreens. Fancy! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is not your normal bruschetta. That, <laughs> that is amazing. Hopefully I don't screw any of this up. It's like I, my, I don't know if you know that burrata is one of my all-time favorite foods. Nice. This is actually one of our new menu items. We just launched this yesterday. 
so this is uh, it's not a house-made burrata, but it is delicious. Uh, it's over a bed of arugula, sliced prosciutto, uh, crostini, fresh fig, and balsamic drizzle. So uh, we have a friend, a regular, who's been on the show three times, uh, Crush Pizza, and he does a pizza with this, with really? these ingredients. <laughs> That's so awesome. So he's got the, he yeah, does a burrata, burrata fig pizza. That's awesome. And then he does a port wine glaze. What else we got here? Uh, so I forgot our house-made bread, but this is the baba ganoush that goes with our house-made bread. Would not think you'd our, make baba ganoush. Our, right? our pastry chef, uh, Elena, is killing it, um, and, and her house-made bread is out of this world. Uh, these are two of her desserts that we just rolled out on our new fall menu. I think, yeah, let's talk about dessert. Uh, so the first one, if you've ever been to Yaya's, you've 99% chance you've had our phyllo wrap brownie. Uh, so this is our brownie 2.0. This is a, a s'mores brownie. Um, it's topped with a s'mores ice cream. There's house-made marshmallow that's toasted with a little chocolate drizzle and macerated berries. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I have to cut this open. Yes, you do. <laughs> People have got to, got to see what's inside yeah, this. Yeah, definitely. Hey, calm down over there, Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You get that, Evan? Yeah, I can't wait to try that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Actually, what's funny is people don't really know this about me, but I, I almost never eat dessert because I uh -huh. fill up so much on everything oh, yeah. else. And people are like, what do you mean? There's always room for dessert. I'm like, not when you eat as much as I do. I'm so hurry. But I'm going to find some room for that. Today. Yeah. And this is this This is our carrot cake. cake. Uh, so that's going to come with a cranberry compote, uh, white chocolate, a little honeycomb around the edge, and a caramel sauce. And I'm having tried this for my first time, I never would have guessed this is gluten-free, but this is actually a gluten-free carrot cake. It well, is That's going to work delicious. out good. So nobody touch that because yeah. that's coming home with me. <laughs> my wife's uh, celiac. Yeah. And then even this, look at the detail here. Yeah. Is that papaya? Uh, that's, so that's candied, uh, candied carrot. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that makes more sense. Candied carrot. Mm -hmm. Attention to detail of your restaurant. Definitely. It's fantastic. And you have a great wine list as well, we right? We do. We do. And martinis. And it's just, if you've never been to Yaya's, you're really missing out. It's a gorgeous, timeless restaurant. It is, yeah. Um, yeah, good for any occasion. Um, taking reservations? Uh, reservations only right now, uh, just to try to accommodate everyone, make sure everyone has, you know, a, a lot of time there. And then uh, they go to your website or Open Table. What are you guys on? Uh, we do have Open Table. You can also go to our website. Uh, it's yayasdenver.com. Uh, and then if you would like to call, our number is 720-741. I'm sorry, 303-741-1110. <laughs> This, this happens every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows phone numbers so anymore. And the only thing I'll, in your defense, I can't name one digit of my kids' phone numbers. Really? I've never never I, had to dial yeah, it. Yeah, I know my dad's, but it's just because I've known it since yeah, I was so a kid. Yeah, so just before but, yeah. <laughs> everything was programmed. Right. All right, what am I going to go for? This is so much variety here. Uh, what? What should I try? Brownie. 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 Fine. <laughs> I tried the Brownie. Um, thank you so much for coming in and bringing yeah, me lunch today. Yeah, thank you for having me. I have a big old spoonful of this yeah. yumminess. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of What's for Lunch. Let's eat. Oh, shit. <laughs>